Hey, adventure seekers, welcome to your ultimate travel guide. If you've got the wanderlust, but don't know where to start, you're just at the right place. Here, we're all set to make your travel smooth, enjoyable, and unforgettable. We've got everything from practical tips, hidden treasures, to insider travel hacks. Plus, an array of stories from the road, unique cultures, and stunning landscapes from around the globe. So whether you're a seasoned globetrotter or a rookie explorer, get ready for a journey full of travel wisdom. You're in for a thrilling ride with us. So, you are planning a trip from the US to Asia? Here are some essential tips to help you prepare. First off, don't overlook the importance of checking visa requirements. Each Asian country has its own set of rules, some requiring visas for US citizens. Make sure to apply well in advance to avoid last-minute stress. Now, let's talk about packing. Asia is a land of diverse climates, from the tropical beaches of Thailand to the snowy peaks of the Himalayas. So pack your suitcase with a variety of clothing options. And remember, it's not just about the weather, but also about respecting local cultures. Some places may require modest attire, so do your research before you start packing. After all, a well-planned trip is a trip half enjoyed. Correct preparation makes half the journey, doesn't it? When in Rome, do as the Romans do. The same applies when you're traveling to Asia. It's not only about exploring beautiful landscapes or tasting exotic cuisines, it's also about understanding and respecting the local culture. Why, you ask? Because every place has its unique customs and traditions which are a part of people's daily lives. Imagine you're in a bustling market in Bangkok or a serene temple in Kyoto. Knowing the local etiquette will not only enrich your travel experience but also help you blend in. It's like unlocking a secret level in a video game where you see things from a different perspective. Researching local customs can also prevent unintentional disrespect. For instance, did you know that in many Asian cultures, it's considered rude to point with your feet or touch someone's head? So, before you embark on your journey, spend some time learning about the local customs. Remember, understanding is the first step to acceptance. Money talks, especially when you're traveling abroad, so let's address the elephant in the room, currency. When you're jetting off to Asia, it's a good idea to have some local currency on hand. It's perfect for those small purchases, like a piping hot bowl of ramen at a street side stall or a souvenir from a bustling market. But don't worry, it's not all about coins and notes. Asia has embraced the digital age, and credit cards are widely accepted. Whether you're booking a scenic cruise down the Yangtze River or splurging on a luxurious silk kimono, your plastic has got you covered. However, remember the old adage, don't put all your eggs in one basket, apply it to your travel funds. It's always wise to have some cash as a safety net, because when technology fails, good old-fashioned cash steps in. A wise traveler is always prepared, even financially. Last but not least, let's talk about travel insurance. You're probably thinking, do I really need it? The answer is a resounding yes, and here's why. Travel insurance is like a safety net for your trip. It protects you from unforeseen circumstances that could potentially derail your travel plans. Think of it as a small investment for peace of mind. It covers costs related to medical emergencies, trip cancellation, lost luggage, and more. Now I know what you're thinking. But it's just another expense? Yes, it might seem like that. But consider this. The cost of an emergency without insurance can be astronomical. In the grand scheme of things, the cost of travel insurance is relatively minor compared to the potential financial risk of traveling without it. Remember, it's better to be safe than sorry.